Hi guys, Jared here, and I uh, just really quickly wanted to go over the uh, Xbox One news. A lot of people freaking out on uh, Twitter and Facebook, and even on the site, we got a really good um, discussion going on. I'm going to put the link uh, down below in the description, so you feel free to um, click it, head on over to Project COE and uh, join the discussion there, because it's very interesting, um, some of the people's take on uh, this Xbox One news. Uh, so basically what I'm talking about is the Xbox One restriction confirmation that we got yesterday. I'm not going to list everything because uh, honestly I don't have a piece of paper beside me and that's how complicated this is. There's, there are just so many different restrictions. So let's go over uh, just some of the key ones that uh, I remember off the top of my head. Um, so number one, all games need to be installed um, on the hard drive. You cannot actually play a game from the disc. The disc's only purpose is to uh, basically speed up the, uh, the process of getting the game onto the hard drive quicker. Obviously, if you have to download it from the net, it all depends on um, how fast your internet connection is. Number two, um, games, no, not games, rather, but the Xbox One has to connect to the internet at least once every 24 hours for gaming purposes. Basically a verification, a DRM, if you will. Um, this has brought up a whole slew of uh, issues because what happens on launch day when everybody is basically trying to um, to get online to play their games, right? Uh, another thing is that you need, I think it was a 1.6 Mbps uh, connection. For most people in North America, that's not going to be a big deal. However, um, what about those uh, in places like rural places where the... Uh, the internet might not be quite so strong, you know. Um, we take it for granted, but there are still millions, tens of millions of people that their internet connections just aren't that great. Another issue is, of course, with soldiers. What happens if, you know, you're, you're stationed somewhere where there is no internet? Well, you're not going to be getting an Xbox One. That is for damn sure. Um... The other thing I was saying was, uh, if everybody goes on at the same time, what if a server crashes? Look at Diablo, look at uh, some of these other really big PC games like The Sims, for example. Things like that. When the game needs to verify that it's a legal copy, um, I know these were situations where it was always on DRM, but still, once, an, um, once every 24 hours, I really wonder about that, like exactly how that's going to work. To me, the minute you put on a game, it's going to need to verify with your account that um, that you're playing a legal copy. So I'm just curious, like what's going to happen that first time when uh, a server crashes and uh, and people can't play, or rather can't do anything with their system, can't game with their system. Um, now, then there's a whole bunch of, of weird little restrictions, like you can't lend games at launch. That's not going to be activated yet. So you can't give it to anybody. Um, you will be able to give it to a friend, but this is going to work through the account system. So your friend needs to be on your friends list for at least 30 days before you can transfer uh, the game to them. But it can only be done once. They can't even give the game back to you. You can only do that switch once. Um, I even had to contact a rep to find out, like, is that exactly what it, how it works? And for now, that's the way it sounds. They don't even know. Um, exactly how this is going to play out. Then there's the fact that you can have 10 family members um, that can share the games. But how, how, does, how does it know that it's a family member? Do you know what I mean? Like, is it going to be name restrictions? Is it going to be address restrictions? How, how exactly is, is all that going to work? We, we have no idea at this point in time. Um, that's the, the crux of it, okay? That's the main, main point. Um, we don't entirely know all the details but I wrote an article primarily saying don't freak out just yet I mean you can be upset if you're an Xbox fan and you were planning to buy an Xbox one and you see all these restrictions and like Steven told me really good line uh, he basically said like you know gamers console gamers are being um, are basically being spanked for something that we never even did you know we're being punished for something that was primarily a PC issue um, now, here's the thing, guys. We know that Microsoft would not necessarily think of all these things by themselves. Uh, yeah, it's entirely possible they did, but I, I don't think so. And here's why. Electronic Arts announced that they're doing away with their online passes. And to me, here's the situation that happened. They basically went up to Microsoft and said, Okay, 
we don't want to have uh, you know our online passes anymore. We want to make used games basically a thing of the past because we don't make money off of used games. So what can we do? And if that is indeed what has happened, because all these restrictions, all those other restrictions I mentioned, it's directly aimed at basically doing away with used games. It's the whole point. They want those used games gone so that they can make revenue every single time someone buys a game. You're basically buying a brand new game. So they get that full amount of money. But here's the thing. If Electronic Arts and or other developers, or publishers rather, went to Microsoft and said the same thing, you know, like we want to make sure that this is what happens. Oh, a little tangent here. Forgot to mention this. Uh, Microsoft was very clear to say that the publisher has complete control here. Um, you will only be able, at most, to be able to give your game to one other person from our understanding right now. But uh, the publisher, i.e. EA and guys like that, could potentially stop this completely. If they do not want you to um, like be able to give your games or sell your games or whatever, because that's something else. Microsoft said that only at participating retailers will you be able to resell your games. And that's only if they're, it's activated that you're allowed to do that. So basically, as a consumer, you have lost all rights over what you're buying. You now no longer own the video games that you buy. Now on PC, this has been going on for years and years and years. But as a console, I really, really wonder what's going to happen here. Because console gamers have been conditioned since the Atari 2600 a certain way that when I buy a game, it is my game. I can do what I want with it. And in recent times, you know, this has really changed. Look at these uh, online passes. Now we can go back to the online passes. Sony's done this. Uh, all the major publishers have done this, and I'm really wondering if this is not just going to be Microsoft. I know Sony has come out and they've said a few things, but guys, the, the silence is getting uh, a little bit deafening here. And I'm really wondering if Sony's also going to do the exact same thing, or at least have similar restrictions with used games. Because there's just no way I can see one console being completely open and free, sort of like the Wii U is right now, where it's like the same model that it was last gen. And I can't see, of the, the, the two that are the quote-unquote like going head-to-head, -head, I can't see one going this way and one going that way in terms of uh, the publishers. And like I say, I'm still really nervous because Sony has online passes. And if they keep the online passes, giddy up, that's fine, because that basically means that they won't have a system like this. But if it comes out that they are getting away, with, like they're going to abolish their online passes, then you can pretty much be sure that there will be some sort of online restriction. And that's going to be, that's going to be interesting to see. That's the main, uh, the main point of this video, is I want to get your guys' feedback on this. Um, I'm not looking to start any flame wars or anything like that, because we have to be completely honest here. Sony has not issued, I do not have a press release from my Sony Computer Entertainment uh, contacts that say yes or no to the used games and to uh, any sort of online connectivity requirement or anything like that. I will say that Sony... Uh, is their, their system is available in more countries around the world and requiring an online internet connection at all okay, would be very, very odd for Sony to do. And it would also be very odd because they've talked extensively about you know, forcing people to download games onto the hard drive and things like that and they said that you know, not everyone's internet connection can require stuff like that, like discs are still extremely important and yada yada yada. So we'll see what happens. Um, again, go down to um, the uh, the link I have in the description and uh, join the conversation here on YouTube. But be sure to check out the site because I've uh, I've written out some nice details for you. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, let's get this conversation going.